What's up, YouTube? My name is Calvin Carter. I fight out of the Academy of Boxing in Spokane, Washington. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a simple piece of equipment that will greatly improve your hand-eye coordination for boxing, MMA, or any other fight sports. It's used by Manny Pacquiao and Vasa Lomachenko. It's very simple to make and highly effective. Y'all ready? Let's get it. Things you'll need. A snapback hat, a Velcro strap, elastic string, and a tennis ball. First, I cut a hole through the tennis ball and then I put the string inside the ball. Then I connected the elastic string to the Velcro strap, which I attached to the adjustable part of the snapback. I then put the snapback on my head and make sure that the string will hang the tennis ball right above my belly button so that when I punch, the ball will come back at the right length of each of my punches. Now I'm gonna show you how to use this thing. You wanna keep the ball out in front of you. It's all right if the ball goes low and you're punching down, but you may want to bend your knees and get at the level of it, like you're throwing body shots. Other times you can mix it up and have the ball above your head, about at eye level. Sometimes it'll go around to the side, but when it does, act like it's someone trying to throw a hook to your body. So use your shoulder or your elbow to block it and get the ball back out in front of you. And mix up the combinations. You may want to just work on your jab at different angles, getting low, going high. It may tap you at times, but that's all right. Maybe switch your stance and use your other hand or do combinations, two, 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 two. Just mix it up. And as you get more advanced and more comfortable with using this ball and as your hand-eye coordination improves, then you can mix in, bounce around on your toes, moving from left to right, working different angles, doing dips, getting low on it, the body shots, remember, bouncing around or even slip, go to a different angle, move left, Go to a different angle. And if it comes up to pop you in the face, that's the time that you can work your head movement and your slips. Now you will, this is a warning, you will get popped in the nose and the eye. I have several times. Doing this drill with the gloves, it makes the ball a little bit more bouncy and the bunches come out straighter. So I like to mix it up to get a different feel. And this one's easier to hit the ball, like I said, so you can go for longer periods of time with the gloves on. And with this, it's easier to also just move around, move around the ball, throwing some uppercuts and different variations of punches because the gloves help you control it more. Don't be afraid to get creative with your training. Give this drill a try. Peace and love.